Today's workout is a full body reformer flow and we are gonna include jumping today. We'll be using the short box, long box, jump board, and optional weights. So if you have those accessories, get them. And if you don't, you can always still do this workout and modify. We're gonna start up an elephant. So one red spring is on, feet out about hip distance, press evenly into all four corners of each foot. Lift your toes up, tuck your chin, look at your belly button to stretch behind the neck. Take a deep inhale through your nose to prepare. Exhale, push out with the strength of the legs. Inhale, pull in with the strength of the core. Stabilize your upper body. Spiral your biceps forward. Breathe into this full stretch. Push out as far as you can without letting your heels lift to deepen the stretch behind the legs and let your toes float up off the mat. Breathe into it. Exhale out, inhale in. Now, if your hamstrings are feeling super tight, you can always bend the knees as you come in and then straighten the legs if you, as you go out. This is a great modification anytime the hamstrings are too tight or even if your low back is feeling really tight. Bend it in, press it out, otherwise keep the legs straight the whole time. Your core is tight and we're just breathing here. Exhale, inhale, just for three. Last two, and one. Good work, now lift your heels up high, push all the way out to a plank position, and then pike your hips back up toward the ceiling. As you plank, look out past the foot bar on the floor, and as you pike, can you gaze in between the inner thighs or even at your belly button? Try to feel every muscle throughout your abdominal wall engage as you lift the hips and lower with control. The arms are straight and extended the whole time, and you're firmly pressing into both hands. That way you stay active and lifted in the upper back. Your neck stays in proper alignment with the spine. Breathe, inhale down. Exhale, lift back up to center. We're here for three. Last two. One more time, take it to your plank position and bend the knees in, push the legs out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Core tight, neck long, and you're still breathing here. Inhale, bet. Exhale, push. Keep squeezing into your abs. Keep pushing firmly into both hands. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten the legs and squeeze even deeper into your core muscles. We're here for three, two, and one. Drop it to your knees. Have a seat on the heels. Grab the straps behind you. Place them into your hands. Four fingers in, thumb is out. Booty is on the heels. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, curl up, reach your arms up. Inhale, lower back down, look down. Exhale, lift up, reach your arms forward. Inhale, sit back down. Focus on the glute activation to open the front of the hips. Your palms are facing up. Your chest is open. As you lift your arms forward and up, feel your shoulder heads roll back and down. Inhale down. Exhale, reach and lift. Squeezing your butt tight at the top. Starting to get that heart rate up, speed it up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift down, up, just for three, last two, down and up, good work, one more time, 
and rest. Bend the elbows wide, overhead shoulder presses here. Bend the elbows, press arms. Your wrists are straight. You're leaning slightly forward at a diagonal. And you're reaching the arms up and then bending them wide with control. You wanna keep that slow, controlled speed as you come down and try to activate the lats as you bring the elbows out beside you. Exhale, lift. Inhale, resist. Straight up, down. Good work, just for three. Two more. One more time, take it up, bend the elbows. Press the arms, overhead tricep extensions here. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press the arms. Keep the elbows glued in tight to the side of the face. Reach the arms overhead and then slowly bend the elbows, bringing the hands back behind the head each time. Three, two, and one. Circle the arms out and around and down. Have a seat with your booty against the shoulder blocks and extend your legs straight out. Bring your thumbs in the straps, elbows in tight to the waist for rowing one. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Big circle around, bend the elbows in tight. Exhale, reach. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift, big circle around to center. Three more, you reach, tap, lift, Big circle and bend. Last two, exhale, reach. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Big circle and bend. One more time. Reach, tap. Lift, big circle. Bend, now dive forward, reach for the toes. Lift the arms up, circle around. Dive forward and reach. Big circle, open the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, reach, and then lift up with length. Three more, reach, lift with length, circle the arms, last two, exhale. Inhale, as if you're growing a little bit longer each time you lift. One more, reach, up, out, and around. Awesome work. Add a blue spring on to join the red. Come to an all four position facing back. Right foot back behind you on the foot bar. Push it out, bend it and slow. Exhale, reach out that leg, inhale, bend it. Feel your glute engage and lift each time that you lengthen that leg back out. And try to stabilize your left knee directly underneath that left hip at that 90 degree angle. Exhale. Inhale, breathing, firmly pressing into both hands, keeping those arms straight, and your neck is long. Your eyes are focused about four to five inches in front of the headrest and down. Push, resist. Exhale, inhale, breathing. We're here for three, two, one more time. Out, come in halfway, start to pulse. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in. Keep the ribs connected. Push firmly into the hands. Keep the spine long. Focus on the glutes. Just for three, good. Two, push all the way out. Come all the way in, switch. Right knee down. Left foot back, ball of the foot is on that foot bar. Push. Bend slow, check in with your body. See that you're not arching your back. Each time that you lengthen that leg, feel your glute engage and lift, and then slowly bring it back to center, feeling that nice stretch in the quad. As we still get that booty work here, push and resist. Exhale, inhale, breathing slow. All the way out. Back to center, fully lengthen and resist. All the way out, back in. You got three more here, push, pull, so good. Last two, awesome work. One more time, out, come in halfway, we pulse it. Two to three inches out, 
two to three inches in. Your core is tight, your neck is long. Pulse and squeeze. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Four, three, two, and one. All the way out, come back in. Adjust the weight, take those straps down. One blue spring goes on, or a red, whichever you prefer. If your hamstrings are feeling strong, go ahead and go to a red spring, otherwise you can be on a blue. Grab your short box, place it on short ways on the edge of the reformer. Option to grab two weights in your hands if you wish. Bring your feet over the shoulder blocks with the heels on the shoulder blocks. So either have two weights or you can sit in a genie arm position. Exhale, pull the carriage to the box. Inhale, lengthen the legs out. Option to take a shoulder press here. As you pull the carriage in, the arms would reach. As you lengthen the arms, you'll resist. So you're going up, down slow. Exhale, inhale, breathing, so good. Pull it, lengthen, feeling those hamstrings, feeling the shoulders, if you're lifting the arms up and down. Also perfectly fine just to maintain that genie arm position with a long spine. Hold it, release slow. Exhale, inhale, breathing. 10 more seconds left here. Make sure that the spine is long, that those shoulders are relaxed, and that you're keeping your core tight. We're here for three, two, one. In halfway, little pulses. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in. Squeeze behind the legs. Little pulses here. Three, two, one, grab behind the right leg, and now just that left leg pulls in, and it lengthens. Option to do hug a tree in the air with the arms, and extend one leg out and in, or perfectly fine just to hold that leg as you pull the carriage in with that left leg, and lengthen it out slow, really getting into those hamstrings. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Inhale, resist. You got it. Stay with it and breathe. Just four more. Three, pull and resist. Exhale, inhale. One more time. Pull it in. Start to pulse it. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in right here. Pulse and squeeze. Stay active in your core, taking that pressure off of the left psoas. Just for three two, one, other side. Right heel hooks, grab either behind that left leg, or you can do hug a tree in the air with the arms if you have those weights, and then extend and pull. Otherwise, perfectly fine just to hold behind the knee. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Pull it in, lengthen it out. Try to stabilize the hips. We're just targeting those hamstrings here because we also target our core and the stabilizing muscles. Exhale, inhale, breathing 10 more seconds and then we'll pulse it out. Stay with it, just for three, two, one little pulses, two to three inches out, two to three inches in, 15 seconds here where we just pulse and squeeze, stay with it. Just for three, two, and a one. Awesome work. We're gonna go into a challenging plank next, but first just stretch the legs out. Reach your hands for the toes. Take a nice forward fold stretch. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Now cross the right ankle over the left. Take that forward fold stretch. Take both hands to the right shoulder block. Back to the left shoulder block or the feet. Back to center, reach it forward. Cross the left ankle over the right, take a forward fold. Both hands over to that 
left shoulder block, then back to the right, uncross, roll it back up, reach your arms overhead, forward fold, lift up with length, inhale forward, exhale lift with length, one more time, inhale forward, exhale lift up with length, tee the arms out, pulse right for three, two, one, back to center, pulse left, three, two, one, back to center, pulse right, three, two, one, and center, pulse left, three, two, one, and center. Adjust the weight. The lightest spring goes on. If it's too challenging with a spring on, you can do the same plank with no springs on as a great modification. Your hands come to the carriage. Your feet go onto the box. You pull the hands back slightly, then you pike up using your core, then you lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, the hips go all the way up. Inhale, lower down, we have seven more. Exhale, all the way up. Inhale, down with control. Pull with the hands, lift the hips. Lower, slow. Good work, you got it, stay with it. Four more. So good, last three. Two more. One more time. Up, down, and rest. Awesome work. Grab your box. Place it on long ways. Adjust the weight. One blue spring is on. Lie on your belly facing front. Bring your hands on the foot bar wide. Push your arms out. Bend the elbows in. Just doing overhead shoulder presses here. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. Keep it slow. Keep it controlled. Exhale, reach. Inhale, resist, slow. Get that full length in the arms each time. Your neck is long. Your gaze is straight down. Just three more. Two more. Good work, one more time. Out, come in halfway, start to pulse. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Just for three, two, one. Reach your right arm forward, push that left arm out, flip the right palm up, bring it back to center, reach your arm forward. Exhale, push, reach and flip the palm up. Inhale, reach it forward. Neck is long the whole time, it's just that left arm working and you're working mobility of the right shoulder here. Reach it forward, take it back. Keep your glutes tight and engaged the whole time. Three more. Exhale, push. Inhale, resist. Last two. One more time, push it back, hold it there. Start to pulse the, the right arm up, down. Up, down, stabilize that left elbow or left arm with a slight bend of the elbow. Three, two, one, take the right arm out, pinky up and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Right hand on the foot bar, left arm extends, push out. Flip that left palm up, bring it in, reach over. Exhale, push, reach, flip the palm. Inhale, bend the elbow wide, come forward. Reach and flip, bring it in. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, resist. Just five more. Stay with it, last four. Three, reach, resist, you got it. And for two, one more time, reach it out, hold it there, pulse that arm up with the palm facing up. Slight bend of that right elbow. Three, 
two, one, take the left arm out, pinky up, same thing, pulse it up. Little pulses, still stabilizing that right arm as the left arm lifts and lowers. Three, two, one. Bring both hands onto the foot bar. Scoot forward so that your chest is off the box. Push your arms out with two straight arms. Lift the chest up the shoulders, go wide. Push back up, drop it down. Bend the elbows wide, come in. Exhale, push the arms out. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the neck. Exhale, push back out, drop the chest. Inhale, bend the elbows wide, come in. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend. Three more, exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend, last two, you go out. Up, down, and bend one more time. Out, up, down, and bend. Turn your boxes short ways. Drop the foot bar down. Add all of the springs on the reformer. Have a seat on the box with the left foot through the box. Your right knee is bent on the box with either the right foot under the thigh, just bent it on the box, or you can bring your right knee over the box like this, just depending on what feels good on your body. And then mermaid stretch, reach your arms out. Thread that left arm under the belly as the right arm reaches way overhead, inhale. And then exhale, lift back up and reverse the stretch. Lengthen and sit up tall. Right arm underneath the belly, left arm overhead. Feel that deep stretch in the lats. Exhale, lift, reverse the stretch. Lengthen, sit up tall. Right arm under, left arm over, inhale. Exhale, lift, reverse the stretch. One more time, lengthen, sit up tall. Right arm under, left arm over, inhale. Exhale, lift, reverse the stretch. Hands behind the head, wide elbows. Inhale, lower into the well. Exhale, lift up, squeezing into the side body. Down and up, keep your gaze out and up. Try to keep the elbows wide and the chest lifted. Try to keep the spine long and the hips stable. Aiming that right elbow to the center of the head rested back up each time. And push your left foot forward and up into the strap to help you stabilize. Two more, inhale down. Exhale up, one more time. Down, up, little pulses. Two to three inches up. Two to three inches down. Squeezing and releasing into the side body just for three, two, one. Right hand to the headrest. Reach that left arm way up. Stretch out the side body and hold it. And then rotate down. One hand to each side of the reformer. Drop your head. Get a twist. Take both hands over to the right. Feel that deep stretch in the QL. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Bring your right hand back to the headrest. Rotate all the way up to that starting position. And reverse the stretch. Come on up, other side. So now the right foot goes through the strap. Left knee is bent on the box, over the box, or with the left foot under the right thigh. Reach your arms out to shoulder height, lengthen the spine. Inhale, thread that left arm under the belly. Reach your right arm way up, stretch out the side waist. Exhale, lift, and reverse the stretch. Sit up tall with length. Reach up and over, stretch the side body. Lift up, reversing that stretch. 
As you come up, keep the shoulders wide. Take a side shift with the ribs. Then go into that lateral flexion. Then you lift back up, shift the ribs back to center, and reverse the stretch. Lengthen, sit up tall, shift the ribs to the left, then reach up and over that right side. Lift back up, reverse the stretch. One more time, lengthen, shift. Lean up and over, reach and stretch, feeling it all the way into the hip. Lift back up, reverse the stretch, lengthen, hands behind the head, wide elbows. Inhale, slowly lower into the well. Exhale and lift up and squeeze into the side body, working your obliques. Inhale down. Exhale, lift with length. All the way down, all the way up. Inhale, get low. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Eyes up and out the whole time. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Four more. Last three. Two. One more. Go down little pulses. Two to three inches up. Two to three inches down. Squeeze and release into the side body just for three. Two, one, left hand of the headrest, right arm reaches way up, and then rotate down, both hands on, drop your head. Both hands to the left, stretching that QL. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale. And then exhale, walk your hands to center. Left hand to the headrest. Come all the way up and reverse that stretch. Turn your boxes back a long way. Adjust the weight. One blue spring goes on. Lie on your belly facing back. Chest is off the box. Walk yourself forward. Grab the risers and pull yourself forward. Lengthen the arms out. Thumbs are up, palms face in. Working our biceps, strengthening the triceps here. Try to keep the elbows glued and tight to the sides of the box. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Neck stays long, ribs stay connected, and your core is tight. Pull. Lengthen, slow. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen, slow. Try to keep that pace controlled. Don't rush it, especially on the way out. That's where a lot of that work is happening. That's where we're getting an eccentric contraction as we're lengthening it out slow. Exhale. Inhale. Just three more. And for two, good work. One more time, halfway out and start to pulse it. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in. Your core is tight. And we're just breathing here into this work. And lengthen out, walk your hands back. Bring your thumbs out with the rest of the fingers. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, pull and lift the heart. Inhale, lower. Exhale, chest lifts. You lengthen the neck. Inhale, lower down. You may need to drop it down to a yellow spring. That's okay if you do for spinal mobility work. Exhale, pull and lift. Inhale, lower. One more time. Exhale, pull and lift. Inhale, lower, and carefully come on up. Take your box off. Keep the blue spring on, and let's jump. So the foot bar goes to the bottom notch if you're on the Balanced Body Studio Reformer, or set up the jump board how you would do. If you do not have a jump board, you can still do this workout. Just go into side leg series here while we jump. So one blue spring is on, jump boards are on. Lie onto your side with your right forearm down, 
the right knee will stay bent, the top left foot is gonna jump and it's gonna circle around an imaginary basketball above the toes. So you're just circling forward, up and around. We're here for one minute, breathe. Push firmly into that right forearm so that we're active and lifted in the side body and we're not putting too much pressure on the neck. Your spine is long, your gaze is out and slightly up so that we keep proper alignment and posture. And it doesn't have to be too big of a circle, it's just forward, up and around. Forward, up and around, we're gonna reverse it in three, two, one, take it the other way. So we go back and up. Again, that same controlled speed the whole time. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Back, up and around. Feeling that deep glute activation as you circle. Stabilizing the side body. Feeling that glute burn here. Exhale, circle, inhale, lift. Breathe into it, stabilize the hips. Down, up and around. We're halfway there, 30 more seconds left here. Don't give up, you got this. Just 15 seconds. You're working so hard, I'm so proud of you. Don't give up. 10 seconds and then we're gonna jump on both feet and kick one leg forward, one leg back and then land with both feet together. Three, two, one, jump on both feet, kick one leg forward, one leg back and then land with both feet together. Can you flex the ankle of the leg that goes forward as you point the toes of the leg that goes back, adding just a little bit more coordination to this move. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward, point back. Stabilize, balance, and breathe. Halfway there. And then we have all three movements to do again on the other side. Forward and back. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward and point back. Stay with it. 10 more seconds. You're doing great. Just for three, two, one. Awesome work. Other side, roll onto the other side. Bottom knee bent, top foot jumps and it circles forward and around. Forward and around. Keep it fluid, breathe. Exhale, inhale. Same controlled speed the whole time that you move. Back, up, and around. Thirty more seconds. And then we'll take it the other way. In 15 seconds, we'll reverse it. Down, up, forward. We're here for three, two, one. Take it the other way. We go up and around. Forward, up and down. I also did my HIT workout the 30 minute HIIT workout this morning before this. So I'm definitely feeling this. So if you want an extra challenge, also go and do my 30 minute HIIT workout that I filmed today after this workout and see how you handle it. <laughs> Oftentimes I will work out twice in a day, it's not necessary, but sometimes I'll even work out three times in a day because that's the life of a Pilates instructor. Forward, up and around, especially when filming for YouTube. <laughs> Forward and around, 10 more seconds, and then we jump on both feet. One leg forward, one leg back. You'll flex the ankle of the leg that goes forward as you point the toes of the leg that goes back in three, two, one, jump on both feet. One foot forward, one foot back. Land at center, alternate each time, which leg goes forward, 
which leg goes back. Get that beautiful toe ball heel connection of each foot as you land to protect the joints. Burst that energy off. Fully bend both the knees in before you jump. That's how you avoid moving the reformer across the room, by bending fully, then jumping out. Controlling that movement, cushioning the landing, and then flex and feel that stretch behind the leg as you go forward. Point and feel that glute engagement as you go back. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward, point back. Just for three, two, and one. Rest. Awesome job. One red, one blue spring goes on. Grab the straps. Lie onto your back. Take both straps, place them onto your feet. Extend the legs straight up toward the ceiling with the straps on the feet. Point the toes. Lower both of your legs down. Flex your ankles. Lift both legs back up. Exhale, point and lower both legs down. Inhale, flex and lift both legs back up toward the ceiling. Anchor your tail heavy into the mat, feeling that oppositional stretch. Connect your ribs and keep your spine long the whole time. Exhale, point to lower. Inhale, flex and lift, stamping your feet up toward the ceiling, creating that opposition. Down and up. Just for three. Two more. Good work, one more time, go down. Keep your toes pointed, big circles with the legs. Inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale, circle the legs around and back together. Feel as if your legs are growing a little bit longer with each circle, creating that decompression and that stretch out of the low back and the hips. You can move fast or slow, whatever feels good for your body. Just make sure to breathe into the stretch to keep the core tight and the shoulders relaxed, to stabilize your pelvis and your hips throughout the movement. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle out and around and draw back together with the strength of the inner thighs. Up, out, around and in. Two more. One more time. And take it the other way. Go down and around and up. Big circles with the legs. Feel as if the legs are growing a little bit longer out of the hip joint with each circle. Inhale, lift. And exhale, press. Out and around and down. Breathing into the stretch. Two more. One more time, lift all the way up to a V. Two straight legs in the V. And just start to lower both legs down and up in that external rotation. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep your tailbone anchored. Spiral your inner thighs up toward the ceiling and feel the outer thigh muscles wrap around the back of the legs, squeezing up into the glutes. Staying open across the hips as you lower, and then anchored in your tail as you lift. Two more. One more time, lower down half of the way. Froggy in on the inhale. Exhale, push the legs out. Inhale, bend the knees in and the sits bones widen. Exhale, lengthen with control. Squeeze into the inner thighs. 
keep the heels glued together. If your headrest is up, drop it down as we are gonna go into short spine or modified short spine next. Make sure to only look straight up so that you don't strain your neck. Inhale, lengthen the legs out. On the exhale, hinge at your hips, feet over the face, use your abs, lift the hips up. Bend the knees, wide to the shoulder blocks, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lengthen the legs out. Exhale, feet over the face, use your abs, lift the hips up, bend the knees wide, fluidly roll it down through that spinal stretch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift, bend the knees, roll it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feet over the face, use your abdominals, lift the hips up, bend the knees wide, Fluidly roll it down through that spinal stretch. Push the legs out, go to Peter Pan. Bend the left leg, extend the right leg out, inhale. Exhale, push both feet to center. Inhale, bend the left leg, extend out the right. Exhale, both feet to center. Bend the right, extend the left, inhale. Exhale, both feet center. Bend the left, extend the right, inhale. Exhale, both feet center. Parallel the feet, bend the knees in. Take the straps off of the feet. Step up off to the side, adjust the weight. One blue spring is on. Take your jump boards off. Place them back behind the reformer or wherever you keep it. Bring your foot bar up. So the bar goes to the center notch, hands on the foot bar, left foot on the floor, right foot against the shoulder block, bend and stretch it back to a deep lunge. Reach your right arm back, get a little twist, open the chest, come back in both hands on. Straighten the left leg, lift the toes, push it into splits. Lift back up, drop the foot, bend the knee, go to the forearms. Push it back, tuck your chin, look down at the floor and just melt into that stretch right here. Deep inhales, deep exhales. One more big inhale. Exhale, come on up, other side. Right foot is on the floor, left foot against the shoulder block. Bend and stretch it back to a deep lunge. Left arm reaches back behind you, get a twist. Keep your heart lifted and the chest open. Back to center, both hands on. Lift back up, straighten that right leg, lift up the toes, push it into splits. Come back up, drop the foot, bend the knee down to the forearms, clasp at your hands, push it back, tuck your chin, look down at the floor, and just melt into that stretch right here. Deep inhales, deep exhales. One more big inhale. And exhale, come on up. Great job today. Thank you so much for joining me for this reformer flow. Have a beautiful day.